Hi, Sarah. Welcome. Thank you so much for taking this time to have this conversation with me about your experience with my Pussy Empowered um, one-on-one experience that you had over the last three slash four months. Mm -hmm. I'm really excited to to get to have this conversation with you and and hear, hear how you've processed the experience. Yeah, so I'm so excited to be able to um, honor you and uh, just talk about what it's been like for the last few months. Awesome. So I just want to start by letting you introduce yourself and sharing about who you are, where you're, where you are in the world, what what you do in the world, anything that feels relevant that Mm. uh, you want to share about you. Hmm. Well, so my name's Sarah. Um, I'm from Melbourne, Australia, and I teach English as a second language to international students. Um, I love traveling and exploring different religions and cultures, but I'm also very much um, into spirituality on the spiritual path and um, learning more and more about embodiment, which is one of the reasons why I decided to work with you, Alyssa. So that's me in a nutshell. Thank you for sharing. I love that you're all the way across the world and we get to connect to the magic of living in 2021 or yeah, in this time of, in this age of life. I would like to start by asking you what you were experiencing or what drew you to start working together in that first, in that initial stage where you said yes. Mm, um, Wow, it seems like such a long time ago. It really (laughs) is. Yeah, I remember doing some of your workshops and dance parties and I just loved how um, joyful I felt after and blissful and um, I've really been feeling the call to do more embodiment and incorporate it into my life Um, like more daily basis Um, so that's really where where I decided to start working with you because um, after doing a lot of internal shadowy work, especially you know through all of 2020, I, I'm sure a lot of people can relate to um, going on a uh, I guess a bit of a heroine's journey um, or hero's journey, whichever. Um, And just after doing so much deep shadowy work, I thought it doesn't always have to be like this. The work doesn't have to feel so um, deep and dark all the time. And feeling, being, you know, in ecstatic bliss can also be super healing. And I just decided that I want to, like, do more of that and lean more into that. So that's really what was going on. It just a need for more, um, more joy and pleasure in my life. Mm, I love hearing you say that. It's <laughs> such a part of why I'm passionate about what I do is just like, I do feel like joy is equally, if not more powerful of a medicine. And I think that mm it's such a part of my calling to to teach empowerment through with joy as like a central part so I love hearing that that through you through you towards towards the work that I share Um, so Mm -hmm. from there what so it kind of sounds like you already addressed that what what impact you were expecting to receive um, at that point that Is there anything else you want to say about that? Um, I also wanted to feel more comfortable in my body and in who I am and 
get more out of my headspace and more into my heart space and my body mm. for sure that's the thing that I was definitely looking for mm. I hear you I hear you on that <sighs> it's such a it's such a huge thing for us in this world of of technology and analytical focus and brain chatter to get back into our bodies um, is such a huge yes. part of that healing. Um, so what? So let's flash forward into the container here. Um, what do you think that the big the three parts of working together that had the biggest impact for you? Mm, okay. Um, I feel like there were so many, but, um, the first one that I'd like to mention is just, um, feeling so empowered, um, empowered to focus on my own answers and what my body has to say and, um, having the tools to go deep within and, listen to myself and cultivating a practice around that, especially through the womb meditation. Um, and then secondly, also feeling empowered that I have so many tools to um, express how I'm feeling through my body, um, I reach a more, a lighter space um, or a, a tool to, um, just raise my vibration and feel so much um, more joyful than what I did previously or even just to process um, more difficult emotions, especially during like my PMS phase or menstrual phase. Um, so definitely the, how empowered it feels to have um, practices and tools that I can turn to in an instant to um, improve how I feel. I, I feel like that's really empowering. I don't have to rely on anything or anyone outside of myself except maybe mm. fun playlist. <laughs> um, so definitely those two and also um, uh, the other third thing that has had a big impact is um, really having the, um, I guess, the commitment to my cycle. And I, I've always, or not always, but the last few years, I've definitely learned a lot more about my cycle and how the different phases affect me. But actually, like going okay I'm really gonna listen and track how I feel and just get so much deeper into what each phase has to offer me and really living through that and taking the time to talk with you every month or every week um, about how I'm feeling what's coming up how it relates to where I'm at in my cycle and perhaps what I could do to um, get the most out of that particular mm. phase. Awesome. Oh my gosh. So much good stuff. Thank you for sharing all of that. I'm going to add like, I'm going to ask you to expand a little bit on the three areas that you mentioned. So I just want to start with, um, what you shared about connecting into yourself and the womb meditation in particular. I love if you could kind of be a little more specific about what that experience has been like for you. Mm. Well, as soon as we started, um, we uh, you sent me the womb meditation and we decided that I would do that every day and cultivating that practice of doing the womb meditation every day really helped me to um, uh, start the day grounded and also listening to my body and tuning into my womb and what it has to say on that specific day or not at all. Sometimes something didn't really come through and that's, 
uh, and just knowing that that's also okay and I don't have to it doesn't have to look like any one thing um and trusting my body rather than um listening to my mind saying well it shouldn't look like this or oh, oh my god I'm not doing something right because I I'm not getting full sentences in English about how I'm feeling today. Mm. Um, and just being able to have the self-awareness of how I feel um, or what I should focus on next or um, if I just need to rest more, actually having giving myself the permission to do that and follow that. Mm. yeah so so beautiful it was to witness that the level of trusting your body and permission that you were mm. continually giving yourself more and more over the course of our time together over the course of course of our month-to-month experience that just felt like it was really sinking in on a cellular level does that feel does that feel true definitely definitely um in the beginning, I was like, oh, I didn't really have anything come up. And I felt so like, oh, oh no, should I just make something up? <laughs> Which I, um, but, you know, th- that thought kind of raced through my brain. Um, mm. But then as soon as you said, well, that's fine, that doesn't have to look like anything, um, that really, really helped me um, just be at peace with whatever came up Mm. or didn't come up. Mm. Beautiful. Yeah. Intuition is like that. It's a, can be elusive when you make the time to just make space for it and like, or even just another word, body wisdom, like just making space to intentionally listen in. Right. It's like, it just presents itself when it's ready. (laughs) you know yes. yeah thank you and so that was the first first one the second one that you mentioned was having tools to uh, bring you back to um and now I'm, now I'm putting words in your mouth a little bit but tools to bring you back to ease and center and navigate certain emotions yes and th- that's that's more or less what you said right yes definitely Mm-hmm. Yeah. So what, is there anything specific that comes to mind when you think about that? Um, yes, just um, doing the embodiment practices really. Um, and especially that there is one that relates to each phase of the menstrual cycle. Um, I find that really helpful because, you know, if I'm, if I have my period, I don't want to necessarily be jumping up and down um, because I don't have as much energy, but it's really created to tune into that phase and the wisdom of that phase, deep listening, deep rest, and um, yeah, um, the other phases as well, especially my favorite is probably the PMS phase embodiment because um, that's definitely when I'm feeling a lot more activated emotionally and I just want to be in my body and express rather than be in my head and go around in circles. Um, Mm. So it's just really great that I know that if I'm feeling that way, I can come and do a practice and um, I'm going to feel better after or I'm going to be able to shift something or release something. Mm. Um, so it's definitely empowering know that I can have an effect on my state of being um, so simply. Mm, that is, that's beautiful. It's empowering to know that I can have an effect on my state of being. Yeah, that is super powerful. And just like having trust in yourself and in your toolbox that you know that whatever 
emotions are coming your way that you got yourself like you got your back and I really saw that Mm -hmm. I really saw that being playing out for you as well as you navigated the seas of life you know like the things things come up (laughs) and yeah yeah um and one thing that I really loved just on that note is you're always such a great witness. You're a great mirror, always asking the right questions, um, never putting any words in my mouth, but also knowing the right questions to ask for um, me to be able to reflect better on how I was feeling. Um, and I never felt like how I was showing up was wrong or not um, not how I was supposed to be. Um, I, I just really felt truly seen by you as well. Um, there was no judgment from you at all. I was just allowed to be who I was in that moment um, and show up and say how mm. I was feeling. So that was that was another thing that I really wanted to mention as well that mm. had such a deep on me. Mm. So good to hear. That touches my heart. <sighs> Thank you for sharing that. And um, and the the last note that you shared too, which you, you just touched a little bit upon when you talked about the premenstrual phase embodiment practice, um, mm. was getting more deeply in touch with your cycles. That was our intention going in the the. Um, overarching kind of navigation was surrendering to the flow of your power and tuning into Mm -hmm. your cycle um so how did that kind of like how did that play into your experience and and what specifically do you think that you're taking from that Mm. well I I definitely learned more about the different phases um I kind of had a little bit of knowledge about them before, but I feel like now I'm more um, embodied in that knowledge and actually using it in my daily life and Mm. really listening and really practicing um, just honoring my body in each phase, but also not expecting to be a certain way either. Um, so if I was not really feeling that great, or I was really tired during my ovulatory phase, um, to just accept that that's where I was and knowing that there are also bigger cycles as well. Um, as, and just trusting whatever was coming up and so not putting expectations on myself. That's been a big thing as well but um I think really putting into practice a lot of the rituals um for each cycle and uh, sorry each phase of the cycle um and bringing the knowledge to life I feel like I've definitely done that um Mm. yeah 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 (laughs) yeah I really saw you interact with that too and notice like you know as I always like to emphasize I might say something and it might not resonate with where you are and where how you experience that phase so I really saw you be very present with that and 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 even tell me at times actually I feel more this way and you know we all don't have the exact same cycle so it's really important to to be aware of how it plays out for us and not try to fit it into a mold of something else that some pre-existing um, way of experiencing a cycle. But I saw you give yourself permission and trust to say, this is this is how I'm feeling and this is what I need mm-hmm. and to be ever attentive in that way. And I think that's a really beautiful gift when it comes to being a cycling being in this world where it's so wi- widely ignored and yeah all that good stuff (laughs) yeah Um, yeah I think even just being able to meet and talk about this kind of thing has helped me um go yeah no this is really real and I'm def I'm really 
I, I really had, I felt like I had permission to really live by um, my, like my truth, what came up for me each, mm. each time. Mm. Yes. Yay. Permission to live in your, live by your truth. Fuck yeah. That's so beautiful. <laughs> Yay. I, feel, <laughs> I love hearing all of this. Um, so we kind of, we have been, been talking about this, but you know, how has the experience impact you and what results have you achieved? Is there anything that you feel like you hadn't addressed yet that you want to say, put into words? Yeah. Um, yeah, well, a big part of what we did each week was doing embodiment. And in the beginning, I felt so self-conscious dancing in front of my Zoom camera. Um, but that completely just, I, I just, by the end, I forgot that I'd even had that experience in the beginning because it just completely disappeared without me even realising. And I just really fully let go and just enjoyed myself and danced what I was feeling, um, listened to your suggestions um, and just dropped in deeper and deeper. And I feel like every week I was just able to go deeper and deeper and feel um, more joy in my body and it kind of, it, it really stretched me actually. It was like new territory, allowing myself to feel um, so much joy and pleasure in my body. Uh, like we'd be um, doing the embodiment practice and uh, I just remember you saying, okay, what would it feel like to open up even more to joy? Um, and I remember being like, oh my God, even more. And I, I just managed to stretch open even more than I could have imagined. Um, and that was just amazing. And I just always felt so amazing after and happy and truly in my body uh, after each section. And I just feel like I'm so much more confident and comfortable in my own skin, which is another, another goal that I had in the beginning. Mm. Mm. Yes. Comfort, comfortable and confident in your skin. I really saw that evolution happen to where um, the energy just moved, spread more from concentrated in your head when you first began and that's normal too since we were beginning our relationship as well but I really saw it just move into your body and you just reach a whole new level of trust and and um, mm. presence in your in your whole body versus the kind of weightedness in your in your head which we all know very well <laughs> you know it's not like I don't think there's anyone who's a stranger to that um place of being being really in in our heads versus being in our bodies and I really saw that for you that that progression so thank yeah, you so much reflect that back thank you thanks so much for just witnessing that <sighs> such a pleasure seriously such a pleasure ah <sighs> so what do I have left here um just two more questions so the first one is, what what was your favorite part of working with me or this program? Oh, um, wow, I loved it all. Hmm. That's a really hard question. Um, my favorite part. I'm gonna have to say just how um, elated and amazing I would feel after every session um, I always even if I if we began and I was in a not in a great place I just remember always feeling so fantastic afterwards and thinking this is always within me um, 
I'm gonna have to say that with the the effect of after the session. Mm. Oh, that's awesome. And I'm glad that that question was hard in a, in a good way. <laughs> yeah. But that, what a beautiful gift to have that like certainty of afterwards. I'm going to feel so much better. It's like one of those beautiful practices that you gifted yourself with that presence and, and commitment to showing up to your body and, and to your pleasure. So yay for that. <laughs> um, so my last question oh I had one more I forgot um it's a quick one if you could fill in the blank in the sentence um I almost didn't sign up because dot 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 mm. um I almost didn't sign up because I didn't know if I had the time um in my schedule to be able to um, take on this, um, uh, the other three month journey. But um, I just trusted that every, cause you know, my schedule changes quite often. And I just trusted that this was the right time and mm. everything just fell into place. Um, and I, I've, there was definitely enough time. There's always enough time. Mm. Yes. Yay, trust again. I love that word. That's been my word of this day too. So I love hearing it. It's very synchronistic for me right now too. But mm. yes, hmm. glad that you trusted yourself with that. And the last question I have is just, who would you recommend this to? Mm. This kind of work and this experience. Mm. Wow, I feel like the the tools and the empowerment are just I feel like could apply to anyone. Um, but I guess I would recommend this to um, people who are ready to show up for themselves and really go within and make the time for themselves and for their um, their own joy and their happiness and empowerment. People who are re really ready to step into their power and set the time aside to listen to themselves. And anyone who wants to feel more embodied and more confident enjoy pleasure more in their daily life and have fun. Mm. Thank you so much for, for sharing who you feel this, this little line with and, and for saying yes to yourself and feeling that alignment and just giving yourself such a beautiful gift and showing up each week with so much presence and commitment. It was really such a pleasure to, to guide you, to be on this path with you and, and share this space, share this journey over the last few months. So thank you so much. Really appreciate it. And I really appreciate you taking time to digest your experience with me and, and share and share so much. So, and I, I think it will resonate as well with, you know, others on their journey of connecting to self so thank you for for also sharing your vulnerability and, and where you were at and and what you've gotten from this experience mm, you're so welcome Alyssa it's really my pleasure to share this great experience that I've had and I just hope that um you know your wisdom just spreads far and wide because mm. I feel like it's it's time like 2021 it's time to for us to start living our truth listening to ourselves being empowered and making joy and pleasure a priority like that's mm -hmm. so empowering in itself just to know that you can you can feel good and you should feel good um mm -hmm. and thank you for just being a great witness and a great guide and really helping me to expand. Mm. 
Mm, such a pleasure. All the good feelings. Oh, well, I'm going to to let you go and in, into your into your afternoon afternoon in Australia. It's night yeah. here, and but I just so appreciate you and thank you for joining me for. This.